more community engagement. Uh, one of the hard things that we have, and we're going to find a way to fix it, because it's always been an issue in Romulus, is there's a, it's almost like a donut. You have a hole in the middle of the city that is the airport. And it's not going anywhere. Um, so we have to find ways to work around it. So it has that disconnection to community. So I'm really looking forward to our continued growth in economic development. Um, but I'm really looking forward to being able to connect our community. We have those four quadrants, and we've tried multiple ways to, uh, to deal with those. Um, even as far as the not call them quadrants, but they are what they are. You know, there's different pockets that are separated by the airport. And we need to bring find ways that our, our residents will be engaged. And this is part of that process. You know, we want to hear them. We want to let them know that they are part of our community. It's important to us. And we want to share this vision with them. It's not just going to be my vision or my administration's vision. We want to hear from our residents, you know, where they want to see the city go. Um, in continued economic development and growth and the jobs and opportunity and also the rooftops. We've been adding rooftops and residential housing um, in the city at a great rate. And those will bring the retail and the service oriented uh, uh, development we wanna see uh, to better service our, restaurant, our residents. I would like to attract those families back to Romulus. I'm from a family that moved to Romulus because of, you know, uh, basically an economic change. My grandfather worked at Ford for 37 years. So <laughs> Romulus is one of those places that were uh, developing houses and had wonderful schools and wonderful businesses as well. Uh, lots of local businesses, uh, successful businesses at that. So I would love to see Romulus uh, build that up, but in a new way. In a perfect world, um, I would like to see the needs of our residents, um, businesses and visitors met. Uh, we want opportunities, convenience, fellowship, safety and health. I think we need to do a better job on cleaning up the neighborhoods, the businesses, and streets. I'd like to see more places to eat, some local shopping. Um, I think there's always room for improvement, so that would include uh, proven government and enriched schools. So in a perfect world, um, those are the things I'd like to see in 2030. Growing in the right direction. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Since I've been here, the infrastructure that's developed in the city is unbelievable. The last couple of years, there's been neighborhoods that have been started and they're finishing now. Like that's amazing to see. I'm a big, I love the golf. We're lucky enough to have a, uh, a golf course in our city. And it's amazing because now I can go out there and a lot of these areas in the golf course that were the houses weren't finished or certain holes weren't finished, they're all developed now. Beautiful homes, you know, nice neighbors, nice people. It, it just, the way that it's growing, I would love to just see it to continue. It would be amazing to have a grocery store, but again, I can imagine how tough that is. To basically continue the way that it is, is just, I, I have no complaints. I have absolutely no complaints.